Well, now, <laughs> now Kyle Shanahan not only is thinking about taking him at three, but he traded three first round picks to do it and then some. So is there a chance, you know, and do you think, do you think this is a possibility? Are you hearing anything down there that makes you think that this is legit? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of scuttle. There's a lot of talk about uh, the 49ers think they've found their guy and it's Mac Jones. The thing about Mac that I, I, it's, you know, I've been watching him for a long time now, obviously. That's why and you're here. <laughs> the, the, thing, yeah, the, the thing about him that is just so impressive to me is his consistency. Mm -hmm. And I mean, granted, you, you'll see him every once in a while make a mistake and then he quickly recovers and he moves on. And it's, it's, I, I hate comparisons to NFL quarterbacks, but in terms of kind of style in that way, yeah, he reminds me a little bit of Tom Brady because he has that very um, regimented approach, puts in a ton of work. Uh, he's, yeah, he's he's very competitive. I mean, he used to be a tennis player. So if, if, if you know, if, if you know tennis players – and, you know, the guys who just hate to lose, I mean, that's exactly what this guy is, and he's a quarterback. So he doesn't have necessarily that that wall factor. Like you watch some of these other guys, and you just go, holy cow, that's amazing. Um, but he makes all the throws, and he makes all the reads, and he's consistent, and he led the nation in passer efficiency, you know, in, in, in the passer rating this past year. So – Am I a little surprised that he might go up at, at number three? Yeah, a little bit, just because I think, you know, when push comes to shove, these teams usually fall in love with that, the, the wow guy, the flash guys, you know, kind of thing. And especially when you start getting the owners involved and, and, and so forth. But uh, I, I think he has the potential to be a very good pro quarterback mm -hmm. and um, the kind of guy that could be doing it for a number of years. Okay, so it, it's definitely. I mean, I don't. I don't think we had Grant Cohn on. Uh, one of your colleagues covers 49ers with with uh, Fan Nation Sports Illustrated, and he says this. I'm not going against what Adam Schefter says. I think this is who they're going to take. <laughs> and, uh, and and Eric, welcome, uh, Mr. Anderson. Welcome. He says uh, need to draft a quarterback. Matt Ryan has passed his glory. Um, you know whether or not I agree with that. I think the Falcons need to take a quarterback because he's 36 years old. You know, uh, it's there's we can't count on these guys to keep doing Drew Brees and Tom Brady's and playing. They're, they're 41, 42, 43 years old. Um, but w when I watched Mac Jones, the thing that impressed me was was his ability to stand tall against a rush. You know, people say, yeah. oh, you know, they're they're it's Alabama. You know, they're they're better than everybody. They got better positions than everybody. But that, that doesn't mean you're not going to get hit. And some of the things I saw him do with a, in the face of the blitz was really impressive. And, and to me, that's what got me. And, and then you just ask, does he have enough arm? You know, because Danny Werfel is one of the best college quarterbacks I ever saw. He didn't have an NFL arm, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and yes, he does. He has enough size. He has enough everything to, to go in that spot. So for the record, because I'm going to end up quoting you on this <laughs> one, you know, do you think it'd be a mistake for the 49ers to take Mac Jones at three? Or do you think he can help them take the next step past where Jimmy Garoppolo is in, in the next year or two and, and be a Super Bowl type of quarterback. No, I, I, I don't think it would be a mistake at all. I don't think it would be a mistake for any of these teams to, to, to take him. I think he's got that kind of potential. And I'll, I'll kind of tell you, it's, I'm, I'll give you a, a, a real quick story. You know, during the offseason, so many people are talking about, you know, the quarterbacks in the SEC for the 2020 season. And it was, you know, seemed like every single team had one. And I kept bringing up the question of who's going to be the all SEC first team selection preseason in the polls and, and so forth. And I was the only one who was saying, I think it's going to be Mac Jones. And the, the moment that it, it turned for me was there was an off. Um, there, there was a workout sometime in the spring. And I heard about it from a couple of guys where Mac really stuck his head in somewhere and he got walloped and, mm -hmm he got up and he had a bloody nose and he basically just kind of just shook it off and he went right back in and didn't even blink an eye kind of thing. And it's, those are the kind of moments when quarterbacks win over teams. And right then and there, I was like, this kid's, this kid's got this team, you know, kind of thing. 
and and look what happened. And and he looked good at the end of last season too. And so many people weren't even paying attention to that as well. Like the Michigan game, the Auburn game, you know, the Auburn game, he had a couple of big mistakes, but other than that, he looked really, really good. Mm-hmm. And, and so I, I it, he's going to have to do it again wherever he goes. He's going to have to win over the team, win over the teammates and so forth. But this is a um, – he's got that stubbornness, if you will, that you need to really succeed as a quarterback in the NFL.